Hi and welcome to an Age of Sigmar game between myself, the Britannians, and my opponent, Beastman. And what we play is the scenario one from the Age of Sigmar book, and it's basically I uh, need to deploy all my troops first. Uh, as you can see in this, um, within 18 inches of the middle of my table edge, so you can see how I have deployed. And um, he have to deploy um, his unit at least nine inches away from me, and then he get to choose to get the first turn. So, um, as you can see, this is my army. Uh, I dare you to trying to guess what is what um, in this colorful mix. Uh, I guess it will be very hard for player who meet Britannia to guess what is what, but I will try to uh, go through what I have. To the top left, 6 uh, fast cab, and I have 5 knights here, and 5 knights of the realm, uh, with a damsel uh, in it, uh, then I have 5 knights of the realm on that hill, then I have uh, 14 questing knights, uh, in the middle of all of that I have my lord, which is the green and white knights, and the blue BSB. And then I have um, to the right five more knights of the realm, and in front of that I have six mounted yeomen. And that's my list. I using the formation called uh, Defenders of the Realm. So basically, I can when I'm charging uh, reroll one to wound, and I get uh, to rerolled. Bell shock test uh, when I'm charging. So basically, it's make me good on the charge, uh, which is a team in the Britannian army knights that they are good on the charge and pretty tough, but they cannot uh, grind very well. But, anyways, uh, this is my army, and over to the beastmen. Well, let's go through the Beastman deployment. This is kind of a dark picture, but uh, I hope you see what it is. It is two units of 20 Gores, um, a unit of 10 Beast Gore, a BSB, one Beast Lord with Great Weapon, one Beast Lord with um, Hand Weapon Shield, and then a Gorgon. And this is his other flank. He told me his plan was to lure me to this side and then slam into me from the other side. So we will see how that goes in the game. But he have here 20 gores and 10 angors. Well, uh, on uh, this picture you can see the big Lustrian temple. Um, he have a Bray Shaman uh, next to it. So um, what? that do is basically after a turn for every five model that have been slain uh, you get a die um, it's divided among the players but if you roll a four plus because he is within six inches from that monument he get them all and he will actually get them all during this whole game and um, so um, I want to talk a little bit about the scenario when you have seen both the army. Um, what he needs to do is to kill 75% of uh, my army, which I think is fair because he had the advantage of that temple over there to kill some models. He get to both have the first turn and deploy first, so that may be cool. Um, and uh, the army, we both pick up a model, deployed, uh, and then we look at each other and say, uh, I told him to put down a Gorgon extra because you need monsters, because monsters are cool, but that's how we decided how the army, um, what army size we would have, and in the end it ended up being pretty fair I think, maybe a little bit uh, advantage uh, for Britannia, I'm not sure, but you will see during the whole game. Well, and the Beastman player chose to take the first turn, and uh, he moved up, as you can see on this picture. 
he failed to summon a monster in the magic phase in com in hero phase he get the command ability to a gore unit um, really didn't affect anything and uh, he stands still on the other flank and uh, his wizard suffer a wound from the monument because if roll a one he suffered d3 mortal wounds and that's basically it for movement in the assault phase he charges my fast cap and he will kill four of them i will strike back i think i might have done a wound to his gore but i'm not sure and then i die from battle shock and that's the end of his first turn so for the britannian turn um well, this is in Magic, I gave up the Mystical Shield to my Questing Knights, and uh, yeah, um, the hill in the middle there is uh, the only terrain piece that will have effect during the game is a Mystical Terrain piece, so I have to roll a dice for uh, every unit within 3 inches. Uh, if I roll 1, they cannot do anything, if I roll 2+, plus, I get to reroll wounds. And um, I have two units within three inches, my realm and my BSB, and both of them roll once, so they cannot do anything. Uh, I think the peasant cab might have been within three inches too, but um, they pass. And as you can see, I have moved my formation with the Lord, the Questing Knights, one realm lands, and the Errant Knights. Um, to charge his uh, bestior uh, in the assault phase, uh, which I hope I can basically kill them. And with uh, killing 30 models there, I'm pretty close to my goal of killing 50% of his army. While well, in the shooting phase, my six fast cap managed to do a wound to one of the core unit and put them from 20 to 19 which is very good because um, that reduces something, some roll on some Primal Fury, uh, I think, uh, I'm not, I don't remember clearly, but in the charging phase I make it all, uh, my errant knights uh, get in there to take out the Angor, uh, the realm go in for the gore, the questing knights go in for the gore, and the Brett lord goes in for the gore. And well, um, the errand go for the Angor, and I think I killed four or five total. Uh, the rest go for the Gore, and I wipe them out. I don't think I took any casualties at all. And that was the Brett's first turn. So, in the end of the first turn, uh, for every five models that were killed, not run away from Battle Shock. Um, he get to pick a unit, if he rolls a less than equal to the number of model in that unit, he can, the unit suffer a d3 mortal wounds. So my questing knights, one die, and uh, two of my realm lances lost uh, one knight. Well, the beastman win the roll off for going first, and he, in the magic phase, he start by summoning up it is um, Saigor on um, in the left corner of the table. In the movement phase, you can see here on this picture his beastman horde running forward towards my Britannian for the final big clashes. Well, this is after Britannian movement, but what happened is, um, yeah, he in the shooting phase, his Saigor kill one of my Iron Knights and his Gore, as you see, to the right, get into my fast cab. I think they kill one or two of them. I pass my battle shock, and uh, so in Britannian turn, I pretty much uh, make ready for charging. Uh, I put my questing knight up against his beastie bar because one option is um, 
I get um, to charge because uh, this turn I roll enough or otherwise I'm he will charge me but I'm in a spearhead formation so he will only be able to get in contact with a few model and then I could pile in and do some damage and if I get the first turn of course I will get the charge next turn and uh, my realm and my lord just swing around to counter charge him if necessary next turn this picture is out of order but it's just showing that uh, my errant knights and my realm knights uh, uh, gather up and kill the last remaining of the ungors my errant knights would bravely run out here to act as a speed bump for the Saigor. So for my charging phase, uh, my shooting phase, my task have in the unit kill one Gore, which is very good because now he has only 19 in that unit and that uh, makes his Gore some kind of less threatful, uh, I guess. And uh, yeah, I charge him with two of my realm lances. Um, you can see in the bottom of this picture a bird, and that's the top of my BSB, which failed the charge, so he didn't get in. And you can also see up in the top corner here that his uh, gore unit is not in combat because I failed the charge with the questing knights as well. And here is the result of that combat. Um, he killed my fast cab. I did some damage to his core, but not too much, I think. I think I whiffed a bit here. Um, so, yeah, that's it for this combat. I think this picture represents everything that is good with Age of Sigmar. Look how awesome it is to see these two army running towards each other uh, both fully painted uh, the beastman army is really good painted uh, i would say that too um, so this is his movement um, he have um, run and uh, move beastman have a special ability that makes them be able to both run and charge so uh, this is how he moves he pretty much just closing the gap between my units for a final clash and uh, I think I also lost some knights here and there from uh, the special rule of this scenario because some unit died and yeah one knight here and there uh, in the special rule scenario well uh, on this side um, his I go after missing with the rock uh, he charged my knights. Um, I think as things goes, um, I get to strike first in this combat. I managed to do five wounds. Uh, unfortunately, he saves um, three of those on a five up save. So I didn't really use his attacks at all, but I don't think he managed to kill any of my knights anyway. So, um, but anyways, why I didn't charge here is because I wanted him to charge me. Uh, one, for giving uh, one extra turn. And two, from uh, removing him from cover and reducing his uh, armor save. Because you don't get cover save uh, when you charge. Uh, so that's it for this combat. Well, on this side, um, he will actually kill my knights. I think he will kill two of each unit. And he have a beast lord with great weapon in there too, so he does a lot of damage. Um, and I flub some armor save. And then I roll bad for my battle shock. Britannian have generally high courage and high bravery. Um, but those two units are now dead. And here is a picture of the big one. As you can see, I didn't quite use the spearhead formation on my questing knights here, unfortunately, but um, yeah. Uh, anyway, she get in a pretty big amount of uh, gore. He is a little bit defensive because uh, he don't want me to pile in with my Breath Lord. Uh, 
So this is after combat, but before battle shock, um, I go to town on his B gore unit. I think I killed 16 of them or something like that. Uh, even though we go first, yeah, I lost a five six knights or yeah, something. Uh, but I managed to pass my battle shock test thanks to the BSB and me rolling pretty good. His gore, of course, um, died after this, and he only had his uh, general remain there. And this actually means that um, I have passed my objective, killing 50% uh, of his model by killing those big gore hordes and the young gore unit. Um, so we're gonna play my turn and see if he can pass his, his objective. So my turn, the final turn of the game. Um, so what I have to do here is basically just um, keep my models alive as much as possible. Uh, so the only thing that really matter in the movement phase is this. Um, my errant knight retreat uh, away from the gorgon but uh, no not the gorgon the cyborg uh, a bit but still in range to scream angry insults at him um, so that's what i did in the movement phase well another thing that matter is that my questing knights roll a one for the mystical hill and cannot do anything uh, so my Brittany lord my BSB and my realm knights decided to charge his uh, general and hopefully kill him. And well, the Britannian lord goes first and managed to kill the beast lord um, straight away. He rolled pretty poor for his armor save. I think he have a three up save. I have one run. He have I did four wounds and he failed three of them and I did three wounds. So I killed him. Uh, well, that's it. Uh, so it's ended up being a victory for the Britannian. I have uh, 47 model to start with and he managed to kill 32 of them. He needs to kill 35 of them. So almost, almost. Um, so here after the game, one thing we reacted to were there were kind of few terrain pieces on the board. Um, we use the raw table in the rules, um, but one or more extra terrain pieces here or there wouldn't hurt. It would look good, I think. Uh, the hill was kind of problematic for me to have my unit on because they keep falling down, especially the metal questing knight, which I, after one attempt, didn't even dare to put up on the hill um, and so that's one thing I think it was a very fun game very interesting we did manage to balance the game pretty good I think and um, I think the spearhead formation for the Britannian is very good because it's work both defensively and offensively because you both, if your opponent charge, you can get into one knight, and if you charge, you can pile in three inches, and then you have a two inches range on your lances. So that's really awesome. You can hit, uh, and if you lose one or two knights on the way, you take them from the back, and you don't really lose too much uh, hitting powers anyway, because the horse is always the one who does the most damage, that's a special rule of Warhammer, you know, um, yeah, so that's it, I hope you enjoyed this game, if you like and have any questions, just ask them below and I will answer them as fast as I can, uh, feel free to like and start subscribing if you want to see more of these uh, videos, hopefully I will get more Age of Sigmar games in, kind of hard to meet up people uh, this time um, and subscriber actually asked me for a game uh, from YouTube so if you are close to Stockholm just ask me for a game and I will try to pick up game as soon as I can it would be awesome uh, so that's it have a nice one